Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Do not touch hot consumables without personal protective equipment. Important note, the following instructions are the same for slip-on or thread-on nozzles. Disconnect the control lead and power pin from the machine and cut the wire. Remove the nozzle. Loosen the gas diffuser with a contact tip using an appropriate wrench and remove. Loosen the set screw in the power pin cap. Do not remove the set screw. Remove the power pin cap from the rear of the gun with welding pliers or an appropriate wrench. Remove the old liner. Replace the neck insulator if worn. With the MIG gun laying straight, install the new liner through the neck. Push the liner through until the brass liner lock bottoms on the neck. To lock and center the liner, install and tighten the new gas diffuser with an appropriate wrench. Install the new contact tip and tighten with welding pliers. Install the new nozzle and ensure the neck insulator is installed properly. Place the power pin cap with the set screw over the liner and thread onto the power pin. Tighten the power pin cap snug against the power pin shoulder with welding pliers or an appropriate wrench. Holding the provided hex wrench as shown, tighten the set screw finger tight against the liner. Next, hold the hex wrench by the handle and tighten the set screw an additional one half turn to fully secure the liner. Trim the liner flush to the power pin with a sharp set of side cutters. Insert a piece of welding wire into the liner to check for burrs or obstructions. If needed, loosen the set screw until wire slides freely. Plug the power pin back into the machine. Reconnect the control lead and feed the wire through the MIG gun.